Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Uh, today I'm going to look at the other side of the Amaza treated 10 yen coin. And uh, this is the side that actually the gas impinged upon, whereas the other side is just uh, sort of the back side of that. And for me, this is actually uh, even more interesting than the back side. So uh, the areas I'm going to look at, I've sort of blued up here, let's put it like that. And uh, uh, you can see a couple of main areas. This is uh, one area where um, it, but it would appear that uh, material disappeared from. And this is the other area. And it's like a very, very large ring. And uh, we have a spot, but in the spot, the material has disappeared. And this goes almost all the way through the coin to the other side. I think there's a very, very small hole on on the other side and it's just basically a channel that's completely cut out um, so this is quite fascinating we'll have a quick look in there on this image by zooming in but the actual areas we're going to look at is this top right uh, area here around here which is kind of outside this main uh, circle just outside because that is typically where we have seen um, uh, ring spots or what I call lily pads and over here, uh, because I think this may be the most interesting area because there was extreme, if you hypothesize uh, the Evos are doing some work, uh, this is the most extreme area uh, and this is on the threshold of that. So uh, we're going to look at that area. So I'm going to zoom in uh, just a little bit because we've got a bit of an extra dimension we can go here. Now, these kind of uh, bits in here are quite unusual, uh, the very white areas and so forth. So are these kind of bits of uh, this is actually almost entirely copper but uh, it's actually a bronze uh, with a, a small percentage of zinc and tin and uh, could these be zinc and tin in here that have just kind of separated out or are they other things uh, evos seem to like to produce a lot of calcium that is what i call deck alpha and uh, that's 10 alpha particles uh, whereas Carbon is tri-alpha and oxygen is quad-alpha. These things will be revisited, um, but I'm just spelling them out right now. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's uh, this hole. Um, and over here, we're going to be looking at this uh, area around here, which is like on the boundary of what was going on there. And we're just going to go up and, and look at this right-hand corner. So this is this is what we're going to look at here, which is outside of this main ring area. And if you look, recall on the other side, uh, it was kind of like a bulge. And this is like a cavity um, that I've used depth of field in order to uh, get everything in focus. Anyway, you'll have these images and you can get access to them in the uh, description of this video. So here is a look at the top right hand corner. Uh, you might be able to re re recognize this bit from the previous part of the video. And uh, it would seem we have our kind of ring spot areas. Well, mostly a ring, but uh, in, a, in other areas you can see uh, you've got the ring with the spot, the ring in the spot, ring in the spot, ring in the spot, ring in the spot. Um, and it almost looks like it's created these bubbles uh, um, where the, you know, ring had been and it hadn't broken away but i think probably when it comes under sem analysis uh, i think these areas might be interesting to look at the difference between the center here and uh, this band around the outside are we just seeing uh, uh, copper oxide and just the raw bronze and just pure copper oxide here different levels of oxide it may well be the case that might be the case uh, evos uh, in my view will accelerate oxidation uh, because they're like big fat electrons. Um, so that's not going to be surprising if we witness that. Uh, and we have quite a lot more resolution on this image. Like I say, you'll be able to have access to it. Um, but uh, you can really delve into here. So here's, here's a bigger ring and spot. And, and like you say, it, we saw in the um, PTFE, there's a lot of overlay um, with these things. So uh, it's better to look at this boundary layer um, uh, outside of the main affected area to see uh, where things are a little bit clearer. So you can see maybe here, uh, you've got the ring with a lump in the middle. And, and it's softer. Uh, we expect these things to be softer because uh, uh, if we take the hypothesis that 
uh, if the melting point is lower, um, then it will be softer. And if, for instance, copper is lower than titanium, is lower than uh, tungsten, or the bond strength in the case of silicon dioxide, uh, quartz rather, on the Lion uh, reactor, the Lion Dual, or the PTFE. Um, those, in my view, have very strong bonds, uh, and therefore they will provide a more defined ring and spot structure. Um, so uh, there we have it. Now, what are the scale of these features? Well, I've had a, uh, I've scaled uh, these, uh, where are they? These, these ring spots here. Well, these don't really have the spots so much. These, uh, you can see it on the image when you look at it, there's a spot here with a ring, and so it's a little bit clearer, but it doesn't appear to be it's kind of a little black bit in there, there, but it's not so obvious on those. So I'll scale those, one of those here, and it's around about 40 micron uh, uh, radius, so 80 micron. So this is quite typical uh, of what we've seen on other materials. And then I would like to go and look to the other area um, which is what I call close around the hole. And uh, this is quite beautiful. Uh, we appear to have what may be a very, very perfect Evo impression. This is actually scalloped in here. It's concave and it's kind of come in from this angle. Um, and so it looks a little bit ellipsoid, but actually it's essentially a perfect circle. So what I might do at another time is get the uh, microscope to look in uh, perpendicular to the structure and try and uh, see how beautiful that actually is. Here's a much bigger uh, ring spot with a spot in the center. Um, there's another one here that's kind of buried under something. So you've got the spot and the ring around the outside. Uh, here's another one that's in another sort of concave section. There's a couple over here that are not so clearly defined. There's one, one here. Um, but uh, I think these are quite beautiful, some of these things. Uh, now this, for me, where you had the material basically disappearing, uh, for me, is probably the area where we might find the greatest transmutations, or we might find nothing. Um, but uh, I'm really interested to see what the difference is between here and here and here. And these should be relatively easy to spot under the SEM. Again, I'm interested to see what's in the center area, in this gross area here, and in the outside. Now, this is very, very white. Um, and as I say, uh, Evos tend to like to produce uh, calcium, so maybe this and these structures here are, are calcium, which just absolutely should not be there in something that contained no calcium and was uh, exposed to something that contained no calcium. But I might be wrong. Uh, we will see. Um, will we see aluminium like uh, Amaz has uh, uh, shared his document, which from independent testing, there was some. Uh, Aluminium forming. Uh, what is this brassy looking structure here? This looks more like uh, some sort of structure of copper oxide. I don't know, but um, uh, there's certainly rich pickings of things to investigate. Uh, and uh, uh, I hope uh, that uh, the what we may find here may help us understand much more about what's going on. It might be that we find a lot more carbon in this ring here, which shouldn't be there because there's no carbon in this metal and there's no carbon in the gas. And so that would be interesting. Uh, or is this just a highly oxidized copper here on this ring? And one has to ask why that is, why it isn't here and why it isn't here. Um, so uh, anyway, that's uh, the look at this. I think uh, we have a diameter of the structure here, um, which is around 200 microns, which is typical of an Evo, one of its sort of quantization areas it likes to stay at. Um, so there we go. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.